Okay, so we've been stuck in Baku now for nine days waiting for a charter flight back to London Heathrow and we've got the details through. Uh, one of the biggest changes is now there's a 14 day mandatory isolation period unless you're on a specific list of essential workers. So part and parcel of that is you have to log on to a .gov website and fill out all your information and, and let them know exactly where you're going to be staying for the 14 days and isolating, even if you're on a list of specific people you still have to go through the whole process which is relatively easy all you need is your passport number your address where you're staying and any other contact details uh, email address mobile phone number etc so uh, you also have to print it out once you've uh, filled it out online so there'll be an electronic copy held by them presumably so they can back check in addition to that if you are an essential worker you should have a letter from your employer so I've got my letter here that shows that I'm engaged in essential role and as a result uh, thankfully I won't have to uh, self-isolate for 14 days however I will be engaging in social distancing and um, and being smart about it. I'll show you a quick link and I'll talk you through the uh, online process, but it's really not difficult. Uh, as long as you put in your username and your password, you can revisit that website and put in information as you know it. So flight numbers, flight arrival times, etc., etc. Okay, guys. So here we are on the uh, UK government COVID nineteen website from the 8th of June 2020 you're going to have to fill out an online form just to confirm where you're going to be self-isolating for the first 14 days after you arrive. You just have to fill out all your own personal information things like email address, create a password so you can revisit the website if you don't fully complete the form. As always it's very important to read and clearly understand the information requests before you put them in just to make sure you're not going to make a mistake and these can be things like the day and the date and the time that you're going to be arriving now please note you cannot fill out the form completely until it's less than 48 hours before your departure and then further on you'll be putting in your home address and your correspondence address uh, which may be two different locations and when you've completed the full application process, the website will send you a copy of the document that you filled out in PDF for you to uh, print out. And that's the process in full. Pretty straightforward, nothing to worry about. And it probably took about five minutes to complete. Hello. So we're at uh, Baku Airport now, Terminal 2. And how many people are on the flight? 47. Now? 47 on this flight. And uh, it's a uh, A350 Airbus. Probably have about 300 on usually. Yeah. Like that, so uh, we'll see what the spacing's like when we get on there. So we're going down the sky tunnel now and we've been asked to keep one metre distance. Everybody's wearing uh, masks, which is good, and it's been well controlled. Good five hour, five and a half hour flight, yeah. yeah. Kind of early. Yeah. Did, they did a good job on there, didn't they? Yeah. I think so. Very good. Even that ice cream. Place is empty. We've been through immigration, it took about what, 20 minutes, guys? Yeah, something like that and the biggest queue was the people that couldn't be bothered to uh, fill out the forms before um, so it was a pretty smooth service and um, I think not so bad considering this is day two that they've been doing it for so well done